Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I will recap one of the thriller films from 2012, titled Truth or Dare. Before we get to the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps and have a great day. The film begins by showing a man walking towards a party. Meanwhile at the party, there are four groups of young people, Chris and his girlfriends, Gemma, Eleanor and his boyfriend, Paul, and the single guy named Luke. Luke is a drug dealer for his friends when there is a party. While Chris, Paul and Luke are having fun at the party, a geeky bully victim guy named Felix arrived. Felix is standing there while staring at Gemma from a distance because he has a crush on her. After that, Luke suddenly approaches Felix and gives Felix the confidence to approach Gemma. He gives Felix his secret booster, in order for Felix to be more courageous in expressing his feelings for Gemma. Meanwhile, Paul and Eleanor are having tongue wrestling in a room, but just as Eleanor is about to enter the real battle, Paul collapses from the effects of the drug he had consumed earlier. Felix on the other hand, is now feels more confident and invites Gemma to go on a date with him, even if it's just for coffee or a movie. Gemma invites Felix to have a seat and talk about it. She then states that she doesn't expect Felix will like her, and unfortunately Gemma already has a boyfriend, Chris. Eleanor is watching them from upstairs without them knowing. Soon after, the climax of the event finally arrives, Eleanor goes downstairs and opens the most awaited truth or dare session. When it is Felix's turn to play, he chooses truth. Um, <laughs> after that, Eleanor asks if Felix gets a free ticket to choose any girl there to make love, who would he choose? Eleanor gives a piece of paper simulating a free make love ticket. And as we expected, Felix bravely gives the ticket to Gemma. And Chris's expression immediately changed. Chris then invites Felix to join in the fun. Truth or dare, bitch. Yeah. He then punches Felix in the face due to what he has done. Gemma is angry with Chris for going too far, and she goes after Felix. When Felix is wincing in pain outside, someone approaches him. Scene then switches to one month later. Chris and Luke are on their way to Felix's house who is having a birthday party. While in the other car, Eleanor and Gemma are also on their way to Felix's house with Paul. They are all curious about an article which stated that Felix actually comes from a wealthy family. Especially Eleanor, because her father's company has gone bankrupt in the summer. In fact, Gemma and Chris have ended their relationship due to the incident of truth or dare a month ago. After a long journey, they finally arrive at Felix's super majestic residence. Chris and Luke are already in front of the house, and they greet each other. Not long after, they are approached by a car driven by an old man. The man says that Felix's party is held in an old cabin. He directed them all to walk 800 yards along a path through the woods, because the road is too rough for a city cars. In the middle of their way, there are puddles of water and mud. Therefore, Eleanor asks to be carried because she doesn't want to ruin her 300-pound shoes. Once they arrive at the cabin, they are greeted by a man named Justin. Justin introduces himself to them as Felix's older brother. I'm Chris. All right, mate. After entering the cabin, Justin informs them that Felix cannot attend the party because he is having problems with his departure from Chile. Felix has recently volunteered at a hospital in Chile as part of his service to the community. Plus, Justin's purpose to make the birthday party is to surprise his brother. Despite the fact that the party is cancelled, Justin has prepared food and drinks to welcome them. Don't forget that he also provides them with some weed to have some fun with. In the middle of the party, it is discovered that Justin is an army officer, who has recently returned from his deployment in Afghanistan. Justin is also revealed to be particularly homophobic, frequently and casually throwing gay slurs. He then begins to inquire about Chris' romantic relationships with Gemma. Chris believes that Justin likes Gemma, but Justin claims that Gemma is not his ideal type, but rather his younger brothers. After that, Justin challenges them all to a game of truth or dare. The bottle is spun, where Eleanor gets the first turn and she chooses dare. Chris challenges Eleanor to kiss Gemma in front of them all. Eleanor does so without hesitation, astonishes Luke, Chris and Paul. After that, the bottle is spun once more, and it is now Gemma's turn to choose truth or dare. Since Gemma chooses truth, Chris immediately asks if Gemma wants to be his girlfriend again. But Gemma rejects it outright in front of all of them. 
As the game resumes, Justin deliberately stops the bottle at himself and chooses truth. Without waiting for their question, Justin then says that Felix is not actually in Chile, but Felix has hanged himself in the cabin, right above them. Eleanor bursts out laughing, while Chris thinks Justin's words are just a joke. However, Justin continues his story. Justin witnessed his brother's condition when he had just returned from Afghanistan. Paul asks why they are invited if Felix is not there. And Justin replies that he needs to know the source of the problem, that has been the reason Felix to do that. Justin makes the assumption that something occurred at the party a month ago. He then shows them a postcard he found in Felix's pocket. He asks as to who sent it, but no one can give an answer. At this point, Chris starts to feel unsafe, and he intends to go home, but is blocked from doing so by Justin. Chris tries to throw a punch at him but Justin appears to be more experienced at this. Eleanor also attempts to attack Chris with a bottle, but she is given a soldier slap in the face. Justin then grabs a gun and shoots Paul in the leg to scare them all. After that, Justin tells Luke to arrange the chairs in a circle. Paul tries to make a phone call, but Justin notices and shoots him in the finger, causing his finger to be severed from his hand. After arranging the seats, Luke is again told to collect their cell phones and car keys, to put in a toolbox containing many weapons including grenades. Everyone who sits on the chair is taped on their hands by Justin. Justin again emphasizes that one of them just needs to admit who has sent the postcard to Felix. Since neither of them confess, Justin finally gives them time to discuss. He then tells Luke to come outside with him. Outside the cabin, Justin asks Luke if he has sent the postcard. Luke says no, and he doesn't really know Felix. Luke also explains that he only gives Felix a drug to boost his confidence, so that he can approach the woman he is interested in. While in the cabin, the four of them argue about who sent the postcard and accuse Chris of doing so. Because Chris has said the exact words from the letter to Felix, before punching him in the face. Following that, Paul tells Gemma to get something in the desk drawer behind her. In her attempt to move the chair back, she trips and falls backwards, prompting Justin to enter the cabin after hearing the incident. Justin makes it clear that if anyone admits to sending the postcard, the rest would be released. But as no one confesses, then the game of truth or dare will continue in that condition. Gemma gets the first turn, and she chooses truth. Justin asks Gemma, who, according to Gemma, was the sender of the postcard. But because Gemma has no idea who it is, Justin immediately slaps her. He again asks who has the most potential of sending the postcard. This forces Gemma to say that it is Chris who sent the postcard. Chris, who initially refuses to accept it, eventually asks when the postcard was sent to Felix. Chris is informed that the postcard stated that it was sent from London, on September 7th. He then says that he was in Spain for three weeks on that particular date. However, Eleanor suspects Chris has asked his mother or someone else to send the postcard, which causes a fuss amongst themselves. <laughs> The game then resumes, with Chris gets his turn this time, and he chooses Dare. Soon after, Justin takes something from the back of the room, and places it by Gemma's side. Justin then lays Gemma down and puts a long tube in her mouth. It turns out that the thing that is brought by Justin is a tool commonly used to force prisoners to tell the truth. There are two water tubes, one containing tap water, and the other containing battery acid and the challenge is that Chris is asked to choose one of the bottles. Chris doesn't want to vote and instead insults Justin for being crazy psychopath. However, if Chris doesn't choose, then Justin will open the battery acid one for Gemma. Chris ends up choosing the bottle on the left, and the water begins to flow into Gemma's mouth. Luckily, Chris manages to choose the regular tap water. After that, the bottle is spun and this time it is Justin's turn, and he chooses truth. Gemma then asks why did Justin choose five of them, from all the other people at the party to come here. Justin replies that he found their scratched out photo at a party in Felix's room a month ago. The game continues, and this time it is Eleanor's turn, and she chooses truth. Justin asks Eleanor to choose herself or one of her three friends to take on Justin's next challenge. Eleanor can't help but choose Chris by force. Justin returns a short time later, carrying the same bottles containing tap water and battery acid in them. Chris, who is terrified, finally admits that he is the one who sent the postcard before departing for Spain, and what Eleanor said is true. 
The problem is that the confession time has been too late, and Justin doesn't want to hear any more excuses. Paul can't hold back his emotions anymore, he then insults Justin saying that his younger brother is trash, a depressed boy and nobody likes him so he has no friends. Paul also recounts another incident that occurred at the party a month ago. When Paul and Eleanor were making out in one of the rooms, it turned out that Felix is standing in the doorway, looking at the two of them. Paul then immediately cursed him and insulted him by calling him homo. As a result, Justin gets angry and finally tells Paul to choose a water bottle there. He is forced and finally chooses the bottle on the left. But unfortunately the bottle on the left is the battery acid. As a result, Chris has to die in a pathetic state, and his body is blistered. As Justin is about to continue the game, Luke's friend named Jonesy comes to the cabin. Justin who realizes it, tells Luke to get rid of Jonesy. It turns out that Luke was the one who called him to come to the party. Luke tries to tells him to go home, but Jonesy sarcastically remarks that he has gone to the trouble of coming to the cabin, and there is no way he would just go home like that. Just then, Justin comes out, and instead invites Jonesy to come with him into the cabin. Jonesy is starting to get suspicious, as Justin begins to force him to join them. He then squirts something into Justin's eyes. While Justin is groaning in pain, Gemma is trying her best to reverse her chair to get something out of a drawer. Unfortunately, Gemma falls down again, and the contents of the drawer are scattered all over the floor. Back to Justin, he avenges Jonesy, beating him until he collapses and can't fight anymore. Luke who is already holding a weapon inside his pocket wants to attack Justin, but the problem is this coward Luke is too afraid to do so. After that, Justin finally tells Luke to shoot Jonesy. Gemma, on the other hand, has managed to cut her tape with a saw. Eleanor immediately tells Gemma to escape through the back window. She finally manages to escape into the forest. While in the cabin, Paul asks if Eleanor is the one who sent Felix the postcard. And both of them tells each other honestly that they aren't the ones who did it. It turns out that Eleanor has almost managed to untape her hands as well. Shortly after, Luke and Justin come back to the cabin, while dragging Jonesy's body. Justin is surprised to see Gemma is not there anymore, and he is forced to leave the house in order to find her. Gemma on the other hand, has managed to make her way to Felix's house. This is where Gemma finds one of the biggest truths from their game of truth or dare, which is that Felix is still alive. He is lying on his bed, staring at the computer screen showing CCTV video in the cabin. While Gemma is talking to Felix, an old man who was guarding the Felix family house, appears from behind. The old man then explains that Felix's current state is the result of his failed suicide attempt. When the old man wants to shoot Gemma, she immediately threatens to hurt Felix. The old man finally gives up and leaves the room, but he actually is just waiting outside for a while, and they are fighting to get the gun. As a result, Gemma accidentally shoots the gun right into the old man's head, and at the same time, Justin has just arrived at the house and immediately chases after Gemma. Justin then drags Gemma to Felix's room, and breaks her neck in front of Felix. Back to the cabin, Eleanor requests that Luke to release them. But this boy is still too afraid to do it. Luke said if he keeps obeying Justin, he would have protection from him. Plus, he has already killed Jonesy, and only Justin can help him in avoiding charges of murder. According to Eleanor, Justin's main objective is to determine who sent the postcard. And if Paul and Eleanor died, Justin would definitely kill Luke as his final target. At this point, Eleanor suddenly falls silent, and considers the possibility that Luke is the one who actually sent the postcard to Felix after all. And it turns out to be true, and Luke admits that he is the culprit. Luke also doesn't expect that his joke could make Felix decided to hang himself. Due to the significant blood loss, Paul is pleading with Luke to help them, as they are a close friend. But instead of helping Paul, Luke takes pleasure from the drugs in Chris's pocket, which has a calming effect on him. He also gives Paul the drug in order to reduce the pain on his injured leg and hand. Eleanor deliberately asks for some of his drug, but when Luke gives it with her little finger, Eleanor bites it off right away. Luke tries to grab Eleanor, but luckily both of Eleanor's hands are free of the tape. Eleanor then pushes Luke until he falls right on the fork hoe, where he dies on the spot. Eleanor picks up the left gun from the ground, and leads Paul out of the cabin through the back door. At the same time, Justin has returned to the cabin. Eleanor quickly fires a shot through the wooden pole, 
and hit Justin in the shoulder. Eleanor wants to shoot him one more time, but Justin manages to stop her, he then stabs her in the arm with an iron. As a result, they get into a fight with each other. Eleanor manages to smash a bottle of battery acid into Justin's head, causing a blister on one side of his face. In the end, Justin manages to be tied to the wooden pole by Eleanor. While Paul waits in the car, Eleanor plans to take revenge on the brothers. As Paul opens Justin's car door, he is surprised to find Gemma's body slumped limply in his hands. Back into the cabin, Eleanor reminds Justin that Felix's suicide attempt took place not the night after the party, but the night before Justin returned home from Afghanistan. In other words, Eleanor wants to reveal the truth that Felix is more willing to die, rather than face his fear if Justin finds out what he did. And Felix shows that he has agreed with that by looking at Justin. In addition, Eleanor finally reveals what she meant. After Felix was pounded in the face by Chris, it was Eleanor who approached Felix outside the house, she then invited him into a room. Inside the room, Eleanor enticed the geeky guy, into doing gay things to the sleeping Paul. At the same time, Eleanor recorded all of the incident, and ended up using it as a blackmail tool against Felix's wealthy family. This is because as mentioned at the beginning of the film, Eleanor's father's company went bankrupt, and she is expecting investment from Felix's family. Before the film ends, Eleanor places a grenade in Felix's hand before leaving the cabin. As soon as Eleanor got into the car, Felix then pulls the grenade trigger, exploding both of them in the cabin. In the end, Eleanor and Paul are able to leave the place. And with that, the film ends. Okay guys. That's all the recap for Truth or Dare 2012. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.